Give me everybody. Let's get it in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Natty Neighbors. Morning. Don't be all excited about coupling up today because we got tri biceps and triceps done and we're going to do the old faithful cardio and abs. Mm. So get on the couch and ride us out. <laughs> no, just kidding. We're about to do the fat boy truffle. Yeah, we're going to do the, <laughs> the shuffle fat boy truffle. That's for sure. And while we're doing that, you need to do this. Get ready. Boom, look at that. Oh, Lord. She even jumped off the couch. She liked it so much. She had that thumbs up. And she was playing with your ding dong like you need to play with her eyes. And remember, everybody, always get, get it in. in. All right, here we are on the treadmill once again. That's right. You know, yesterday, Cody went on to the get the, the groceries. You know, he was all excited. But guess what? Back to the cock again. We eat more chicken than Sanderson Farm sells. I've eaten 100 pounds of cock this year alone. That's right. By God, it's ridiculous. I know I have one cock in this hand and another in this hand. That's right. Just nothing but cotton. Going down. Cock is so cheap. That's right. Yeah. Hey, how much giving it away? What am I supposed to do? Can't pass up some good cock yeah. for that price. That's right. You know, damn. I went last week, wanted to buy some, figured I said, I'm going to splurge and get some steaks. I couldn't do it. Yeah. I just could not do it. $57 for three little old thin ass steaks. I yeah. said, hell to the no. Well, I saw a three pack of ribeyes the other day for $70. You cannot tell me that we're the only ones out there that's not buying beef, but the beef prices aren't going down. Get the hell out of here with that. It's weird, ain't it? Mmm. It's just kind of hard to believe. You know what I really like to eat with my cock? Mm -hmm. Sauce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good Especially sauce. when you bite on that cock and it squirts out. Jesus Christ. Can't get no better than that. Mmm. That does it. I'm naming this video We Love Cock. That's right. <laughs> cock gobblers. Anybody mm -hmm. else out there eating cock nonstop? Yeah. Let us know in the comment section down below. It's all we can afford. Mm. I want to know who all our cock lovers are. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're starting the video off, everybody. Good morning. That's right. Good morning. It is what, Thursday? That's right. It's Thursday, baby. Already. What if we flew by, didn't it? Oh, it did. And it's raining his ass off, too. I don't even think I can go to work the normal way that I go to work. Mm -hmm. All the roads are underwater. <laughs> Dude, it was bad when I was coming over there. I mean, it was bad. I imagine you seen it too. Oh, yeah. I had to go through a road that was already underwater to yeah. get home. It wasn't very, it wasn't very deep, but I'm sure by now it is. You ain't going to go down it today? I know which road uh, you're talking about, Linder. Yeah. yeah. Nope, you ain't going down that road. Yeah, I ain't going down there. I got to find another way. Got to go around. Don't go down Dunn Road. It's going to be flooded too. So you might have to make a little bit of a drive today. I have, to, uh, I have to ask you, did you notice what Billy said in the comment section down there? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. She said she likes to hear that moan anymore. Makes me nervous. Yeah, she was laughing last night when she said that. You I mean, go to Parks and Jars. <laughs> oh, man. I thought you should see what we have on the Parks and Jars. Yes, she said, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll moan all we can for you. That's right. Don't worry. <laughs> ah. Oh, hell, you stepped that up on me, John. Oh, Lord, did I? Oh, all right. Who you at? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm, not, and I'm not even in close. We, we better slow that down, because uh, never mind. We're going to slow it down, because I know. Uh, never mind. We're going to slow it back down. Look, you need to tell everybody I ain't a bear. Look, I'm chafed to hell on back, all right? <laughs> I done rubbed my legs raw doing cardio this week. I did vacuums for 10 minutes before Johnny got here. I'm mean, vacuums right. working, bro. I can tell the difference. Oh, do they? I, work, I do them every day, all day at work. They're working, man. And I can see, physically see the difference. Yep. I'm making a point to do it all the way in the morning on the empty stomach. I can actually see the head now. Not too bad. Oh, man. I mean, I was sitting down, but hey, uh, you know, hey, counts. 
Oh, I forgot what that thing looked like. Huh? That's right. Woo! But yeah, beef has got to come down. Because I know good and well that it's not selling. But we're not running out of cows. No. You know what I'm saying? If we're not running out of cows, so why in the hell is it so expensive? Well, that's another thing too, like crawfish. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was born at night. I was born last night. And they said they had a shortage, but yet I seen a video of somebody that had, I don't know, 1,900 sacks? Mm. But we got a shortage? They can barely catch one or two in a trap? But they can have 1,900 sacks? That's your inflation, everybody's jumping on. All these people that produce everything that we eat. And before everybody jumps up and down screaming the house, oh, that's last year. No, no, no. This was not last year. This was this year. This is happening now. And they said that the, the farmers are having to pay extra money to flood the fields. And the old growth crawfish and the old new growth and all this other good gut garbage. They don't pay to seed the the, the fields. Shoot. The crawfish are there. Okay. They let them cycle out. So what they do is if they got 20, 30 ponds, they're going to cycle the ponds out. And then here's the thing. They don't pay to pump them full of water because they're rice ponds. They're full of water. They already, it's already full. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat crawfish anyway, so I can talk all kind of shit. But $15 a pound. You a fool to buy it. My head's good and all, but it's not going to no. be as good as my cock. I'll stay with the cock. <laughs> it done doubled in price, but it's still cheaper. But bird is even going up. That's what I'm talking about. Very soon, we're we'll, just going to go vegan before it's gone. We ain't going to be able to afford that. Better start, better start growing your garden. Might have to really start sucking. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> Might start, have to really start eating cock. We're about to all become farmers before it's gone. I'm just curious to know if anybody out there watching is feeling the same effects that we're feeling from all the economy and shrinkflation and everything. If you are, let us know, let us know down below. Something's got to give, people. I mean, it's just, what you going to do? You know when people are going to rise up and t take a stand? When they double the price of toilet paper. Oh, what? <laughs> well, you know, you say that. They double the price of cigarettes, yeah. people still smoking away. Oh, yeah. Double the price of gas, guess what? People still behind gas. I wonder if the power that be are going, yes, yes, they'll pay anything we ask them to pay. They won't even complain. You know, here, raise it some more. Well, here's my thing about it. 10 years ago, everybody's salary was pretty decent, you know? You yeah. made decent money. Well, here it is 10 years later. If you don't quit the job and go somewhere else, you're still making the same money you made. Yeah. So, it's, they wonder why people, so many people quit and go to different jobs. Because, uh, you know. Chasing that dollar, but yeah, well, you got to. Friendship doesn't pay bills nowadays. No. You know, you gotta go where the money's at. Yeah, you got it. You know, I watched. Video last night of a man buying his bulldozer. We're up north somewhere, hell, I don't know, it was cold. They had to build a fire underneath it. They got up at three o'clock in the morning to build a fire underneath it to start it. They loaded on the trailer. You want to take a guess how many views they got? Just, just ballpark it, views that video guy. Ballpark it. All they were doing was just starting a fire? Oh, under a dozer. But, oh, Lord. That, they had to to warm it up. Just to start it. I'm going to say at least a million. Yeah. Twelve, twelve million views. Wow. Hey, Johnny, let's go out there and start <laughs> You know, the thing about it is, it's the same guy that does like one video every month or so, and he gets millions of views. And I'm like, <laughs> don't get it. But he, he is the same idiot that run a damn Ferrari out in the middle of a field and let it on fire. Oh, Lord. He just got it like that, then. He's got that money. 
But we got it. He owns a construction company. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, another old boy, Ginger, Ginger Billy, did a video about the Stanley Cup. These women getting all fighting and shit over. Huh. I thought I was gonna die. That dude is so stupid. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm way behind on this video. Yeah, that dude is stupid. He's good, man. I like him. We have to let you know. We mm -hmm. found a website. Oh, where we can uh, mass order T-shirts. Well, you that's what I'm talking about. At a decent price. Yeah. You put, make whatever logo you want. They'll send you a seven dollar. Uh, Mm -hmm. Shirt, you pay them seven bucks, they'll send you a sample. It won't have your sample, but it'll be right. a sample of the quality right, of that right, right. You pick the kind of ink you want, but it's just whatever you want. You, you customize the entire thing. So as soon as we get monetized in that first little, little section, you know, where we can have a store and all that, that's mm -hmm. what they do. You can get that, them set up with YouTube, they partner with them. They get a percentage of whatever you sell, but people go to your earn, earn spot or your store, they buy right. straight from them. They ship it to them for you. Oh, we're gonna do that. With all that stuff. Hell yeah, we're gonna do that. And it's not very expensive either. Mm -hmm. The more you buy, the cheaper the shirt, you know? That's right. I mean, hell, you never know what we're gonna have in our store to sell. Yeah. And you can mm -hmm. be quantity that you want. I think the first quantity I'm gonna fix a hundred of them. You get a hundred, but split it up into different sizes, you know, small, medium, large, extra well, large. You know, where Louisiana. Extra, extra large, then. Yeah, extra, extra large, extra, extra large. Extra, extra, extra large. I did find a really good company, and I'd like to thank Sean for letting me know about that. Checked out pretty good, buddy. Thank you. And we're not too proud. We'll sell anything like that. We'll get sponsored by Viagra. We'll be on here talking about stiffies. I don't make a damn. Found another website. We might be finding a sponsor before too long. Hell yeah. You got it. Do a little ad in the middle of your video for them, you know, just upsell their product, but they're just different ones where like you'll get 100% commission. Some of them are like you'll get 7% commission, but they're better people, you know. Yeah. Like Adidas, you can, you can get them to sponsor you for 7%. That's all you're going to get though. But there are <laughs> sponsors out there for channels like us. Mm. I've been doing my homework. Is there beef sponsors out there that might get beef? Give us I would. at least the smell of it. Put some mm. it on the way by. Yes, that's forty-five dollars, sir. Mm. I'll tell you what's about to happen, though. We're about to have to just go hit Texas Day Brazil, buddy. Jesus Christ, might have to finance it. Right. Yeah, but the problem is, I don't eat very much anymore, so I don't want to yeah. go in there and, and go oh, one bite, fifty bucks. I'll eat plenty when I go to that place. I'll tell you that. Well, I mean, right now, dude, I I done cut my food back to almost nothing. Oh huh? uh, yeah, that's good. Last night I ate two. Two chicken sandwich things, and I thought I was gonna die. That's good, man. I'm really not eating a whole lot right now either. But as soon as we're ready to start bulking, oh, well, it's gonna be on. We're gonna go back three weeks of bulking, then we're going over there. That's where we're gonna shut the doors on my ass. Oh yeah. In case y'all haven't heard, I'm gonna go another scene when I get out of there. In case y'all haven't heard of it or know what it is, the steakhouse called Texas Day Brazil. Mm -hmm. Very upscale, very delicious. Fifty dollars a head. Well, it was. It might be more than that now. But it's all you can eat steak, and they bring it to you bleeding off the bone. That's right. Right off the fire, literally. And they'll keep on bringing you every kind of different cut and make and flavor there is until you tell them That's it's right. Like nothing but meat in your mouth all day. Mm. See, they're making money, though, you think about oh, it. Because most people's only going to eat about a half a pound to a pound of beef. Oh, yeah. So. We could take our <laughs> man. We could take our money, and put it together, and go buy all kinds of beef, a whole rack of rib, yep. ribeyes. You cook them and make them, make them, make them, make them. Yep, make it all at one time. Mm. I, I really am considering buying a whole cow. Uh, well, I, I got to get a freezer. I'm gonna get one. Yep. If you get one, let me know. We'll find somewhere to sell yeah. the cow. We're gonna buy one. We'll find a slaughterhouse to slaughter it up for us. They got a. There's our beef for the year. Four sixes in Texas. Taylor Swidlin or whatever it is owns that they sell beef. But I mean, I guarantee you after they're on TV, the price of their beef is hot. It's mother. Yep. No, we won't buy it. Go. The reason why beef prices are so high is because they done jacked the damn price of feed up. They done jacked everything up. The people have to, I mean, the farmers, have to charge it. 
you know it's ridiculous they want to do more than just break even they got it's, cars it's same way as a cause and effect if you're trying to get something delivered and diesel prices goes up to seven dollars a gallon you're gonna pay more well sack of feed is outrageous <laughs> and even though got these guys buy the truck a truckload say a truckload of, of grain or whatever they feed them is ten thousand dollars well that's twenty five thousand yep. dollars so it, it you know and people are also wanting more money too so right you're paying more for labor yeah more for fuel well most of the no, I swear most of the farmers over there people live on the farm yep. and you know they get fed on the farm it's, it's, it's a lot different <clears throat> Woo. Coming up on 15 minutes already. How are y'all feeling out there? I tell you, yesterday I noticed your calf was looking more defined. Come on, man, check yeah. it out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey. And that's all this walking. <laughs> walking, calf raising, yeah. squatting. If I can get my belly to be as tall as the process, I'd be happy. Yeah, ain't that something? I'd be happy. <laughs> Which brings me to a revelation I had yesterday. I want to mm -hmm. tell you about it. All right, mm -hmm. you ready for this, huh? Somebody asked me why am I growing my beard out? And I really didn't have a reason for it, so I came up with one. I was like, you know, I need to motivate myself a little bit more. I've been talking about how I'm losing motivation. Now the motivation is I'm not shaving my beard off until I have to have the steel. Mm. So it's gonna be really, really long <laughs> before I cut it. But I'm serious. I'm, I'm gonna let it grow out until I reach, reach our goal. You know? Hell yeah. Where I can take my shirt off on that beach and run down it in slow motion, just and like the a beard flying over each side. Oh, you better believe. I don't have to try to take it off running. I'm my titty over my shoulder. You know? That damn right. So when I reach my goal, then I might shave it off. But until then, the beard stays. Let's we'll see how long I can really get it. Yeah, we might have to make our goal a little bit later, so it's not as hot. You know, like September, October-ish. Nah, that'd be all right, man. It doesn't matter. I mean, August, well, never mind. We have to do it in August. August will be hot, but we'll feel that wind blowing on the beach. Yeah, we have to do it in August. We'll have that nasty-ass beach water. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. We're, we're going, going to blue water. We're going to blue water. All right, let's go to blue water, baby. We might take a ride. It's going to take us hours to get there, but it's going to be blue. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. We might go to Daytona Beach. Well, I've never seen blue water, so I'm down. Oh, it's I've so never seen, different. I've never seen the floor in the ocean. You can see neck neck deep and see the bottom. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've been in Bahamas where you could look off the dock and it'd be 30 feet deep and you could see the crabs crawling on the bottom. Badass, man. I love it. What was her name? I don't know. <laughs> Miss Crabby. Johnny, I got something different for us to do to burn fat off. You want to do it after we hit the 20 minute mark? <clears throat> I want to go try them damn ropes over there. Oh, I can't do that. You can't, come on. Uh uh. Can or won't? Well, I can't. Not with my shoulder. Really? Is. It's a hot dog. I mean, I could try it, but dude, my shoulder was hurting last night. I also got the decline <laughs> setups. So we never do those either. Yeah. Can you do, can you do those? Oh, uh, yeah, I can do those. I don't know if I can. I want to try it though. <laughs> yeah. I might go down. Dude, we could try the ropes, but we'll see. I'm going to decline sit up. I might go down and I'll be able to get it back up. Oh, thank you. So along with your damn treadmill over there, right? Yeah, it's right barking. It's perfect gear. Mm. Woo, two more minutes and then we'll do a cool day. I know I tell you what we did see in the Cayman Island. Get off and it's just money everywhere. You know, you go into a Rolex shop and they got $100,000 Rolex. They just... Dude, Stupid shit. Walk along, see this woman with her with JJ hanging out. You know, almost it's that short dress. And it's ladies of the evening. Walking around everywhere with Come on. Her. Oh, what is bad? I just want to try out the food everywhere. Mm. I'm sitting here. <coughs> Good eating. Working out on that gym on the ship. Day, that's when you got all the free food you want after you done pay, it's so nice. I bet.
I came in the Harley for chicken right now, but mm. it's a dream right now. It's a dream, y'all. Mm. It's the American dream to actually have a real vacation. Well, the thing is, like, if you go on a ship, they got a, a child's, I guess you got, I was, it's not a daycare, but you have to drop your child off and have people in there watch them and they all play all day if you want to. They got all kind of games they do. They do, you know, oh. treasure hunts and all this other stuff. Heck yeah. But you go to pick them up, you better have two or three forms of ID. They don't mess around. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's the way it should be, you know. <clears throat> Oh, it's raining and for the birds, ain't it? Oh, yeah. We kind of needed it, but not, damn, not this damn much. All right, busting it down, Johnny. Yeah, let's go to... Yeah, a couple of them putting fruit shift got go-kart tracks on. Woo! Well, I'm starting to uh, have a little moisture <laughs> on, on me right now. Oh, yeah. It's warm in here. I turned the fans off. We got 20 minutes, 20 minutes done now on the treadmill. Now we're going to go start hitting abs. But if you ever decide to go on a cruise, you'll be prepared. It's a lot of walking. Bro, I'll be honest, I'd probably just eat and sleep my damn bed the first day I was there. That's why <laughs> we always went on Norwegian, because you can eat where you want to, when you want to. You go on Carnival, you have to, your main dining room, you sit in one, the same table with the same server with the same people, whether you know really? it or not, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm a free range human. I like to have a little yeah. more free freedom, you know. I like to be a free range. But they have, I forget what steakhouse on there. And it's an extra $20. But I mean, hell now, when you pay for it, it comes with it free. Hmm. Dude, it's, it's like Texas Day Brazil. The steak is freaking That's massive. That's what I'm talking about. I'm all about that steak and lobster. Well, we've been there. I got a place that the wife likes to go to, the steak and lobster. You look at the plate when it comes out and you're like, but I can't eat this. Where's this at? That's on the cruise on ship. The cruise? Come on. Yeah, it's like Tapanyakis or something, what it's called. It's a, <laughs> unbelievable. I'd just like to point out, once again, here we are trying to burn fat on the treadmill. Yeah, we're talking about food. Talk about food. Fuck it. Through the life of cutting. That's right. And mm. an all natural bodybuilder slash fitness enthusiast, whatever you want to call us. Yeah. That's all we can think about. That's <laughs> right. I watch cooking videos more than I watch porn. Yeah. Well, I mean, all we think about is how we're going forward our next batch of cocks. You're damn right. You know. I hope the next cock fight gets on sale. Me too. Ralphers, put your cocks on sale. I hope it's got that good rub on it too. Mmm. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all in just a moment. We're going to fly on over. Try something to the new. Next station. What in the hell are we thinking? Well, I mean, first off, you gotta get on the bed. Move. Oh. Grab the cock. I mean, the handle. He's thinking about that bird a little too much, John. Yep. yep. Mm. We're just gonna burn it out, baby. No rep count, just go until we need to lay down. Yeah, we're gonna have to lay down and take a break. Oh, yeah. And roll. It's time to get this belly gone. I wanna see my whole penis. I'm about like you, I can only see the tip right now. And it ain't even that impressive. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. And rest. Grab that ball, grab that penis. There you go. We're gonna hang around for a second. Woo! That's a yep. different movement for us, ain't it? Yeah. See, now you hear would have did it all the way down and been in trouble. Yeah. My dumb ass had this thing set all the way down. Now we're about 45 degrees. Yeah, and we're probably going to have to pick it up. That's the first time we've done them, so it takes a little bit to build these up, but you know what it needs to be did. Yeah. I have a bad habit of skipping things that I know is going to be hard. You know, it's a natural human nature. Well, these need to be did. If we want to get our belly going, we've got to do it. <laughs> uh, but we're not trying to kill ourselves. Once we start getting to where we can do these, then we'll drop the, oh yeah, drop it down. I'm fixing to pick it up one more time here in a minute. I'm gonna try these one more, and then I'm gonna go up. All right, I'm with you on that. Because I don't want to catch a hernia or anything again. Stupid. Oh no. Mm. Always do what you do and be safe about it. 
Ah, não. Ah. Ah. me. Yeah. We're gonna make a little adjustment now. Go up a little bit higher. There we go. Mm. Oh Lord. That ain't no joke. <coughs> no. And I knew it wasn't gonna be. We're gonna ride this baby for a little bit here. It's too early in the morning. Mm. We still got about 20 minutes left in us. 20 minutes cardio on a treadmill, 20 minutes ab routine. Probably hit some cables after this. Well you can tell. We ain't done these. I'm gassed. <laughs> We're breathing all hard and stuff. Billy's probably loving this part of the show. <laughs> you're welcome. Just so you know, you're welcome. Thanks for the support. Oh, we my hip. <laughs> and a hip problem. Oh, we're Old people very, problem. Huh? We, we're not very flexible. <laughs> and roll. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> wasn't your penis, was it? No. I bounced my back like an idiot. <sighs> Slow and easy, baby. I know. <sighs> Slow and steady, baby. Slow and steady. <sighs> <sighs> Whew, I think we started off too low, dude. <laughs> I'm hurt. Oh. Man down. Man down. Yeah, we're gonna have to. It's not bad for our first little no. go, though, you know. I'm, That's I'm real happy. world. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely started off too low. Do my leg dangles. Donald loves it when we do leg dangles. Mm. <laughs> well, on to our favorite. Yeah, my hands smell like burnt or something. Uh oh. Mm. So I want to talk to you Yeah, I well, <laughs> yesterday I didn't have gloves on. <laughs> No. Stupid, yeah. Probably no hood either. You just like, no, no. I definitely had a hood on. All right, moving on to the next thing, y'all. Thirty reps on this one. That's the guy's look. Mm. But here we go. I never thought I'd get you on your knees like this, guy. Well, I mean, we're about to start grunting and making some noises now, y'all. It's time to do some at table ab crunches. Ab crunch pull down. Turn my hat on backwards here, if I can. Over the top, remember that movie? Oh Smith? yeah, did I? When he gets serious, when he turned the head oh, yeah. around, made it twice as strong. It's like, like, it's like the nitrous oxide. <laughs> All right, and crunch away, everybody. Come on, get out that couch and do some crunches with it. Lay on the floor. Get going. Get moving. Motivate yourself. Work out hard and eat lots of cock. It ain't that hard. That's right. You'd be amazed how much you can fit in your mouth at one time. That's right. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah. Work really hard, you get two of them in your mouth at one time. <laughs> this episode's ready to go. That's right. Just so everybody knows. Mm -hmm. If you're just tuning in, cover your children's ears. You know how I like to have my cock between two buns. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Fat free buns. That's right. Gluten free. Gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, Johnny, go up like this. Hold it up right here. Lean forward. We're going to vacuum it in for a minute. Ready? Mm -hmm. And suck in, baby. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah. Ooh, I can't hold him in like that. Mm. In case you're wondering what a vacuum is, I mean, I always knew about it, but I never did until now. You want to try to suck your stomach through your butthole, all the way out That's your backbone. It. That's it. You exhale as hard as you can, hold your breath, suck that belly in, and try to touch your backbone with it. And actually what it does, it rearranges. Once you do it over and over again, it rearranges all your internal parts yep. where they used to be and flopped out because your belly's hanging out. Yep. It pushes them back where they should be, actually. It's, like it's supposed to be very internally healthy for it you is. to do. Back when I was younger, <clears throat> I could suck my stomach in when I was, I mean, I was young. And my 
parents always thought they could see my backbone. I mean, I really could now. The yeah, only way you can see my backbone is you run over with a truck and cut my stomach open. That's like we talked about. That's why the belly's going to be the last thing to go. Yeah. As working men, when you lift anything heavy at work, which is often for everybody Most that people works with their hands. push out on it. Yep. Yeah, you naturally expand your, your diaphragm. You're pushing out. You're straining. So naturally, your stomach expands and everybody's got that work, working man belly. So vacuums are supposed to help get rid of that. Because, I mean, in your breathing, you're supposed to suck in. That's roll. And get it done. Oh, yeah. I've been doing them for almost a week now, and I already see a little difference. So I'm really curious to see what it's going to look like after about two months, three months of doing it. By the time I leave that beach, I believe I ought to be in. I even do my work now. I sit up, <clears throat> lean over my desk. I do better them. if you lean over and do them. I do them while I'm doing this, back to back, now I'll stop. Day ready, Johnny. Well, I forgot to tell him about the tip of the day in the beginning of our video. That's right. Today. God, dog. Don't forget about the tip. You know what? Here it is. I'm going to give it to you hard. All Whoop. the way. Remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to be there. Maybe I'll do it gently. I got to stop it. I got to start it. Tip of the day. Tip of the day, y'all. The man who assumes he knows everything knows very little. You can always learn something from somebody mm. and no one knows it all mm. remember that uh, people out there really <laughs> need to realize that shit too oh yeah because everybody works with a know-it-all that's right so just remember and that and nobody likes them uh, everybody if you think you know it all guess what you the person that gets talked about the most at work uh fuck Joe Levo? no no uh, <laughs> he was there when you was there Come on. Yeah, he was doing the, uh, <clears throat> all the programming. <sighs> I don't know who was programming back when I worked there. Mm. Todd? Mm -mm. Wasn't Todd? No. I forgot Todd worked there. Yeah. I remember my fellow musicians. <laughs> like Western man, that's a damn good guitar player there. Mm. Oh. Yeah, see I'm back in right now. Mm. I can't do it when I'm out of breath. I'll learn to do it while I'm breathing. One more thing before we left, baby. Have yeah, brunches. <clears throat> Roll that beautiful bean footage. We're gonna finish the day off with some ab crunches, everybody. We then did decline sit up for lower stomach. We did the cable crunches. Gotta change my big people problem. Why people? I can't fit between the machines. So I have to <laughs> you roll myself around. Gotta get crooked in there, huh? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Going down to the pre and mm. Come on with it. Mm. It does not require a whole lot of weight to do these. Well, Just so everybody knows. Don't do a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. I did it for a long time with a lot of weight. That's why my belly was poking out of bleed. Yep. Mm. You have to do lightweight and vacuum that sucker in. Because like I thought that he needed to do a bunch of weight. What was that wrong? 
so everybody, can you imagine how, how many young people are out there going, I gotta lift heavy to get big. Yeah. They don't know the truth yet. They'll learn one day. And bodybuilders that are professionals, I'll tell you the truth behind camera. On camera, they load that bar down and make it look like they're super strong. That's not what they're really working out with off camera. <clears throat> no. The ones that are don't know any better yet. It's all about slow and controlled. Because mm -hmm. like Arnold said, your muscle don't know it's lifting heavy. It just knows it's lifting weight. That's right. All it knows is the pump you're giving. That's right. And if you give it, here's another one for you. If you give it a, say you're curling 60 pounds, you do eight reps twice, you die, you did. dead. But you get 30 pounds and you do five sets of 20, which one's working more? Mm. <sighs> Comment down below, let us know what you think. <laughs> I hear I heard that pain. I'm sweating. I heard that pain. That's why I got a shirt on. I gotta try to sweat. Oh, yeah. oh I don't wanna do this at all. Oh. Might have to drop it. Oh boy, I'm gassed today. Oh. It's definitely time for that rest day tomorrow. Rest Ooh. day tomorrow, everybody, just so you know. Billy, don't you let this man get up out of bed tomorrow morning. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna rest. Let him get some rest. We gotta heal up because we got Lady Day coming up next. My upper body's had it. <laughs> yeah. So Saturday, Leg Day. Right here or at Moore Paul? Well, which one you want? We better go here because we both gotta work. I don't. Oh, you don't? Nope. I did all my work yesterday. Unless I get hit hard, really hard today. If I get oh. hit hard today, I'll be working all weekend. So I'll be able to tell you later this evening. If I don't, though, I'll meet you at Mall Paul. That way you can get to work easier. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's closer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to lighten it up my next go around. Oh, I'm fixing to. Y'all. Yeah, I hope y'all can see a damn difference. <laughs> yeah, it's got to change. Something's got to get up. My diet's back on point. All week long I've been on my diet all point. And you know what sucks? They bought a, oof, a delicious, freshly baked king cake to work Monday and Tuesday. Mm. I didn't get to try any of it, but I sure like the smell of it. My, other, my little brother, on the other hand, I think he wiped out half of it single-handedly. He said Shame it, on you, Kobe. <laughs> he said it was delicious. I think he's starting to like the office life. It <laughs> 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 sure looked delicious. They bought that. They bought donuts, little beignets. They, they, they always bring in bad food up there in that office. And here I am saying no thank you. Not today. You know, I got See? cold, man. I, I'm tired of being the fat one in the videos. I'm tired of it. I, I, I am getting down. <sighs> So tomorrow's off day. I might still come up here and do more cardio tomorrow too. Uh, that's what I'm telling you. It's hard to have an off day when you know you need to get, get in here and get it done. When you know you got to get it in. <coughs> I might come afterwards. That's what I think I'm going to do. That way I can still catch up on sleep and still come up here in the evening and get some cardio in. It was a definite, a different kind of experience coming up here in the evening time. We thought this place so full of people. Yeah, I know. It's and seeing the difference that we've made in ourselves compared to other people. <clears throat> it's a lot. Bro, we're giants compared to other people right now. Uh-oh. I'm going to get this one more set in real quick. Yeah, and we'll call it today. Yep. <clears throat> it's starting to come on in, everybody. <clears throat> but you know what? We got it in. We had a damn good workout. Got a good sweat going. <clears throat> 
John, I don't know how you keep them shirts on the whole workout, yeah, I'm sweating. I'm pouring right now. Oh, I'm man. not going to lie. I'm trying to. Johnny said he's moist. Dripping. <clears throat> Nasty. Guess what I got for lunch today, Johnny? Yard cock. Damn right. That's what I'm talking about. Guess what I got for lunch today? Yard cock. That's damn right. Mmm. <sighs> it wouldn't be that, it'd be that old fish. Mmm. I got, I got plenty of tilapia to cook. I might have to do that today. I haven't had tilapia in about a week now, so it's time yeah. for some fish. Get those omega threes in us. I tell you, if you <sighs> don't like chicken these days, you're in trouble. Whew. Everybody, come on with us over here. We gotta have us a talk. All right, everyone, that's it for us today. That's the end of cardio and abs. That's right. And it feels like it's the end of it. Johnny. Remember everybody. Hit him in that subscription button. Right there. Hit that subscription. I like it a lot. Woohoo. Don't forget to. Oh, yeah. Remember everybody. Always get, get it in. in.